Hello, good morning. It's day two in Kuching, and today program is very simple. We are going to eat, eat, and probably going to visit our Borneo Culture Museum, and then continue to eat, eat until the night time. So right now it's early in the morning, seven something, and that means we are going to get a good food. We are going to have a Sarawak laksa. So let's go. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. So last night we actually had uh, mistaken the grab point. We thought we got away in the main entrance of Plaza Malika, but actually there's a grab waiting for it's uh, the site here, which is near the pizza and HM. HM. I think the back, <coughs> not sure, I think the back there also another draw point. But nevertheless, this is the correct place to wait for grab. So here we are, Chong Chun Cafe, one of the, uh, not really a pop laksa, but one of the recommended laksa place. And if you are someone who first time to try laksa in Sarawak, recommended this place. So without wasting time, let's go. So this is a laksa that you should look for when you are in Chongchun, uh, Holam Laksa. It has two prices, 7 and 9 ringgit. And they're off every Tuesday, so take notes. The crowd scenery is here so amazing. Look at the crowd for breakfast. Now it's just at 30 and what time is it? 7.53 and a lot of people here for breakfast. All here is for the laksa, they follow me as well. But we are here for laksa, no one cares for me. We are going for Colomy next. So our first week is here. Thank you. So this is going to be Daniel's first time trying Sarawak Laksa. It's totally something very different than KL1. Wow. And this is Tessy Bing. I think this is a must call drink if you are having Laksa because by drinking it and eat laksa, it will cleanse your palate and you get to taste the laksa again. But this thing in Sarawak is basically three layer tea in KL. That's what we call it. Legit. Legit. <laughs> At least coming from a Penang person. <laughs> it's coming from a Penang person. <laughs> it's come from a Penang So the Nuna Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I think the chong should be the correct one. The chong somehow thicker. 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 We are here for our next eating destination, uh, Oriental Park Kolomi, and we have no seat right now. There are too many people, so we have to wait for our seat. The breakfast crowd in. Kuching is really really amazing. There are still so many people dying for breakfast even though it's just no even though it's already nine o'clock. It's really really amazing. I didn't think I can see that much in KL unless uh, it's weekend. But we are it's, we are in weekday right now. Today is only Thursday. So we waited approximately ten minutes for the noodle and we decided to pull up. So we're going to do that right now. So if you are here in Oriental Park for the Kolomi, definitely and must order the red sauce one. This is what they are good at. So this is really some really really good Kolomi to have in early or morning. Uh, it's recommended to order the red sauce one. That's their best, their signature. And uh, compared to last night, we have the KY Cafe there. The red sauce is quite overpowering. The KY one is more balanced, but nevertheless both also nice. That's the thing about Kolomi in Sarawak, it's like nasi lemak in our KL there. Everyone has their own recipe, everyone make it differently. So all taste differently. So be sure to pick the best for yourself and enjoy it. Hey, so we have uh, two rounds of breakfast already, everyone is full. So we are heading back to our hotel to rest before we head to the... What do you call? Borneo Culture Museum. 
So see you guys there. Suddenly, it rained here. But then nothing stopped the satay business still ongoing. So I guess uh, we gotta wait the rain stop there and then we go to the museum. So the rain stopped about half an hour and currently it's very close to 12 o'clock. Uh, we don't like to take lunch. We already had a lot of breakfast this morning. So we try to walk to the Borneo Culture Museum currently. I don't know if it's walkable. Since I walk over, so we'll let's see what's gonna happen. The museum is actually very, very near where we stay. Let me show. Yep, it's just right in front there, the museum. It seems like only a few minutes of walk. So let's see what's gonna happen. Right, so the museum is about five floor height. Yeah, different floor we have a different team. And if not mistaken, Saraki will be 10 ringgit per entry. And for non Saraki will be 20 ringgit per entry. So that's the side side main entrance. Seems like we can really just Hide up the stair there and go to the main entrance there. So which stair are we taking? This one? Okay, we are picking this stair to go up instead of that one. Oop, quite slippery. A bit slippery. My 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 slipper is slippery. It's just rain. Look at the bottom. Look at the what? Bottom. <laughs> Pokemon, Uh, it's always supposed to be my legs. <laughs> yeah. The music is so damn good. Huh? Okay, I think it has been quite long since I visited the museum. So I don't think I'll be recording anything, anything inside I want to take my time and slowly enjoy what's inside here And this museum is great for people who want to learn history and other uh, orang asli or the races that are available in Sarawak here So I think next video will be where we're gonna makan next So see you guys there So apparently the entrance that we've seen earlier is not main entrance, there's a back door Main entrance is somewhere you have to go down the stair here and we're still looking for it I think it should be this side. Yep, seems like correct. So, this is the price you are supposed to take note for adult 10 ringgit for Sarakin, 20 ringgit for non Sarakin, and 50 ringgit for foreigner. Many, many minutes later. So, we just finished walk the museum here, and I can assure you the museum is insane and insanely large. We took around 3 hours plus to completely walk. Uh, walk all the five floors that's also we already do our best to see as much as we can and I think if we spend more time it should be take four to five hours to complete the whole journey experience here but it was really awesome you get to see all the uh, different tribe their culture and also uh, the making of Sarawak then also also all the objects uh, in Sarawak like trading the goods and all the stuff it's really recommended uh, museum really worth the experience so there's a souvenir shop just right outside or right outside, right inside this uh, main entrance and my friends currently is buying stuff inside the Malay lady just wait for me <laughs> so alright after this uh, adventure in museum we are going to our next destination to eat let's find out what's there right we are back to Songkeng High Market we've been here yesterday and we are here again today because my friends love the Kongpia here so he got to order more for today before uh, we go for our next place since we got extra time. So how much compare are you guys ordering? Maybe two, three. Order two first and we see if not enough then extra I mean each party two la. Yeah. If not enough then I get extra. I also take two. Original. This one is a garlic one, right? So we have a compia, this cheese, cheese and garlic on top, the other is normal. Uh, total eight, so six normal, one cheese, one with garlic. <laughs> Alright, let's take it. Try the garlic one. Mm. So apparently, compia is not enough, so we decided to order shobi. Mm. <laughs> 
我先吹这，我看你在闻哦。<笑>嗯。不会 still hot， 那个呢 ？Eat it。好脏了。对，真的。Too much drama。好什么 ？So Shelby technically is a siu mai in KL in Hong Kong dim sum. I don't know if it's English, but in Kuching Hokkien it's called Shelby, and the taste is slightly different, or it's very different than the one in KL. It's a sweeter here generally. Yeah, there is pepper. Pepper. But there is a scent of sweetness inside. It's not as sweet as. No, no, it's definitely won't be as sweet lah. I don't know what is. Not a normal shobi like this. They have a a sense of. I think so. It has a sense of sweetness inside. But that's it. So after some tea time, which uh, we eat kompia and so shobi, we are going to have a very quick dessert before going for dinner. So the dessert we are going is this shop, Sunny Hill Ice Cream. Satu jagung, satu campur eh. So after some tea time snack, we compare and also uh, show me. Now we have our dessert before we go for our dinner. This is uh, Sunny Hill ice cream, vanilla flavor, mixed flavor, and I get myself corn flavor. No. Hello. Any reservation? Hi. No, no. reservation. How many people? Three. Three or four. Yes. Three. Three. Okay. Thank you. Very, very good to So it rained again, <laughs> so I don't get to shoot outside the shop. Gotta shoot it later. So here we are, our dinner, the Lapa Restaurant, uh, which are uh, actually quite famous for Dayak food, uh, local yeah. unique food, unique cuisine by Dayak. So this is actually my first time here. I'm gonna order a few dishes here and enjoy what the local has offered to us. So we get to see outside. We have which has a better lighting for food shooting later. Hey, here come the dish. This is a medium sized ayam manso, panso, and the wrap rice, uh, Mario Mario wrap rice. This is more authentic according to the waitress. So there are two more dishes, we are waiting it to come. <coughs> Alright, so the, the barrio wrap in Mali just now is a purple rice. I don't know how it tastes like. This is really my first time trying it. It's sticky. Very sticky, according to Sia. <laughs> And this is sweet and sour calamari. And this made in Belacha. Made in is the uh, is the only vegetable you can find in Sarawak. There is no such vegetable in Kim. So <laughs> the dinner is freaking amazing, freaking nice. So for those who want to try the food, really recommended to try this shop. The ayam pasto, the made in Thai, made in uh, vegetable is really really nice, really good. <coughs> So our stomach is very very full now and my sleep is getting worse. Then I'm going back to get medicine and probably take a rest. Not sure is there a supper. We'll see how's the condition later. <laughs> After rest for almost uh, two hours, right now it's 9 30. I eaten my flu medicine as well. But I'm still not recovered yet, still feel like I'm gonna die. But there is one item that we haven't crossed in our checklist for tonight, it's a supper. We are going to get some great job in Patana Market. So as usual, we walk back to Plaza Madika here and get our breath. 
Alright, we have a situation here. The Kreshap store didn't open, which are uh, out of my expectation. And we are finding alternative right now to see uh, where to go. Hopefully we can find a, a good one. So we actually find one store, found one store uh, at Lao Ya King. Actually at Carpenter Street, which is actually very near where we stay. That's where we came from actually. So now we have to go back to that area. Hopefully they scratch up there. So currently we are at Carpenter Street. Uh, we wanted to try Lala King, Great Job and they just close. Uh, guess we have no fate to cross the checklist today. We try to ship it to tomorrow lunchtime. Hopefully we are able to eat the Great Job. Uh, tomorrow we have a few more foods to cross in our checklist. And tomorrow will be the day we are going back to KL. So let's see what's going to happen for tomorrow. So I guess uh, that's all for my vlog for today. See you guys next time. Bye bye.